So the perfect camera gimbal doesn't exist. Or does it? This is the Feutech Scorp C. And as you can see, this is not your average gimbal. There are a lot of amazing specs and features on this thing. So let me go ahead and tell you about it. That's triple X. By the way, welcome to the channel. My name is Danny Black and I love to review cool gear that comes my way. If you are new here, thanks so much for being here. Don't be a stranger, click that button right there. I'll put links to everything down in the description in case you're looking to buy something like this, which I, this thing's awesome. Also, I'll include a surprise link. Okay, where to begin? Let's just open the box and see what we get. In the box, you get the gimbal in all of its glory. As you can see, it looks like a scorpion. That's kind of how they got that name, Scorp. It comes with a tripod, two connection plates for different kinds of cameras, and a mount for longer lenses to rest on, and also a bunch of different cables to connect to different types of cameras, because you can use this to control a lot of features in certain cameras. So we'll charge it up through the USB-C port, and the Scorp C has a 2500 milliamp hour efficient battery. This gives you 10 to 13 hours of maximum runtime with fast charging support. An 18 watt charger enables an extra 30 minutes of runtime and just five minutes of charging. The design of this thing is actually insane. You get this integrated handle, so whether you're shooting upright or down below, it's really comfortable to hold. It has smooth rounded ergonomics to perfectly fit your hand. And the beveled edges on the handle is what makes it so comfortable to hold. And it's also really easy and convenient to access any of the buttons despite which angle you're filming at. And another cool design feature is its built-in legs. So let's say you forget your tripod. Well, this has got you covered in case you need to put it down. And that's huge because with other gimbals, it's so annoying to be fumbling around with it and like holding it in weird spots. This is just such a nice addition to the design. They made it really easy to install and level your camera. It does have measurement numbers on the sliders. That way you can easily keep track of which lens or which camera you have on there and have it pre-leveled because you've already done it before. But also I love how they have this little slider red dot on there. That way if you don't remember those numbers, that's actually set there and you can just line it up perfectly and know that it's gonna be leveled. It also has a three axis motor lock. So when you turn this thing off and you're wanting unwanted movement, you can actually lock these things into place. It has a tilt and roll of 320 degrees and a pan of 360 degrees unlimited, like it can keep spinning forever. Dang, this thing is so cool. It weighs just over two and a half pounds and it can take a payload of up to five and a half pounds. Now, obviously I'm using this old Sony camera in place of my big one, which I'm using to film this. But what I've noticed with other gimbals is it doesn't really support bigger lenses. And this 16 millimeter lens is probably one of my favorite lenses that I use. And unfortunately with some of those other gimbals, it's just too heavy for it. So being able to have this lens on there, it just makes a huge difference. And when I go out and film with it, I get some amazing stuff. <laughs> does wonders when you put a zoom lens on this thing as well. You'll notice that there are a bunch of different buttons and joysticks and wheels and this wheel is very handy in case you really want to fine tune your shots sometimes the joystick can be a little bit harder to control but this you can go really slow really fast also you could change it to tilt or you can change it to pan up and down i also like how you have the front trigger so when everything's kind of out of whack you just tap it twice and it puts itself right where it needs to be there's an fpv button so if you want to follow and kind of have more of a loose but stable image, you put FPV on. And a lot of times I just press things, or double press, and now you get a completely different kind of shot. There's also A, B buttons with trajectory memory. That way if you have a really hard and complicated shot, you can actually have these set as waypoints. That way you know, okay, now I'm getting to this part of the shot. You can press A and it, it'll do this other thing. Like, it's just really cool. There's this button here in the middle that kind of changes the orientation of it. So if you want to shoot like normal, you have it there. Maybe if you want to get that low shot, you press it and it'll actually pop up and you can go down and get those low to the ground shots. 
And it has a mode button on the back so you can shuffle between different modes like flash mode, space mode, which is three axis follow, a three axis fast follow, vertical shooting mode, panoramic photography, and time lapse photography. And it also uses some algorithms to have a powerful anti-vibration technology, just making your images that much more smooth. And one of the things I love about it is that it has an app that's really easy to connect to. And within the app, you can customize your buttons and the wheel with a little bit more precision and how you wanna use it. And you can actually control your time lapses or hyperlapses or even motion lapses. You can set up how many photos you wanna take and how often. And you can use this to remotely control your tilting and panning. And what I like about this is you can have someone remotely do it for you. That way, if you're busy trying to run with this thing and keep it as stable as possible, somebody else can be controlling the camera movements. And this is where you can also set up different trajectory shots as well. We'll add this waypoint right here, and then we'll move the camera over to here, and we're gonna add a waypoint right there. And then if we preview it, you'll see what happens. It goes from there to there, just like that. This is just a great way to control your shots that much more, because if you're a videographer, you probably have the shot in mind, and this is a great way to set it up and capture that. And it's also important to know that with gimbals, it's not really run and gun and just hope you get a good shot. A lot of times you set up your shot, you try to get as smooth as possible, and it might take three or four tries to get it right. But overall, this thing is a beast. It is so cool. I have a lot of plans to use it for my own personal videographer life. This is the best gimbal I've ever had. I think this is fantastic. And having said all of that, you can actually buy this for $269. I mean, the quality of this thing is so high, I could have expected this thing to be at least twice that price. So if you are a videographer looking to level up your game, this thing will level it up like three more times than that. And I could easily make a 30 minute video showing you what each button does, but this is not a tutorial. I just really wanted to show you what this thing is and what it can do, just in case you're looking for something like this. And I, I really highly recommend it if you are. This is it's just so good. But that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I have a lot more products to review and fun videos to make. So uh, stay tuned and I'll see you next time.